Hey guys, it's me, Orange XP, doing a quick little video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the new monster, Sanka, in Tact Monsters Rumbarina, that has been added recently. And uh, I'm going to go over her abilities uh, and what I think of her uh, right now and then uh, what, what, what would happen uh, when uh, if I to use her. Sanka's main ability, which is, uh, well, I don't exactly know the name of, it didn't say. Uh, well, actually, it did say, wait, let me check. It uh, is Moral Aura. It's more of like a support, uh, support sort of ability. It's uh, kind of cold away. If you're wondering how I found all this out, you go to the training, it's right there. Just just go down, there's the, new th the three new monsters, Sanka, W51, or whatever and uh, hobby or hoggy I think so her main ability uh, which is moral aura sort of a sort of like kind of similar to uh, Sir Lamorax sort of thing and um, where he where it increases crit rate uh, so yeah that, that's pretty cool uh, it's like a support sort of thing I'm pretty sure it's to everyone, which is like the old one then, uh, because recently now it's anyone nearby the Sir Lamarack, which is kind of odd. Um, it's all right. Um, so then what happens is you just use it. Uh, it crits, it does lots of damage, uh, and uh, it's cool. Uh, Sanka is like a sort of, it's like, Punk and Bunk as a cousin or something probably. Uh, kind of cool. Um, I, I, I like I like Sanka as for this ability. Her ultimate doesn't really make sense because it's more of an attack sort of thing. So if if she is getting like if she he I'm not sure. Um, if they're getting shot in the back, then they can rush up and kill, which is alright I guess. It's kind of weird, but it's all right. Um, you, you can use that. The the ability though uh, makes everyone take have more crit. I'm sure there's a, probably another thing, so that's that's cool, I guess. Uh, I don't. I may use this if I need like a buff to my teams. If my team is like up against like three tanks, I may. I may want Sanka on my team to do crits and just punch straight through their their defenses. And the uh, well, the the ultimate, which is Death Drum, um, is kind of weird, I guess. Uh, it's basically, um, I thought it was kind of similar to Rambo at first. I, I got I got mixed up with the tutorial. Basically, you have to go into the you have to go. Yeah, people around you get hit. It's um, it's weird. Basically, everyone just takes damage around you with it. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's all right. Um, there's a few other options though, but I guess it's okay to use. Um, I don't know if I'd use it, but you, it's there. It, I mean, you can use like other stuff. I guess it is really easy to get, but uh, because it only requires three energy points, so that can be like Chris's cleanse, Chris's ball, and getting shot by an archer or something. Then you've got your ultimate, which is nice, I guess, um, pretty helpful. So yeah, um, it doesn't really fit with the first ability though, because it's like a sort of team sort of thing doesn't really fit. Yet again, Sir Lamorak, it, I mean, Sir Lamorak's ultimate kind of fit, fits I guess, but at the same time, not really. Um, so, I was hoping with one of these three new monsters that a new sort of, like a revive sort of system would come in, like, through a monster. That would be helpful, that would also be really handy, but uh, I guess not. Um, so yeah, overall Sanka's kind of weird. Um, I I may if I get really a good amount of Sanka, like if she's a common or I'm gonna say it's she because the other two have been she's. So at least I think so. Um, 
So, so I'm hoping that Sankum uh, will be like a common so it's a lot easier to get cards for than like a rare or a, like a diabolic. I don't think Sanko will be a diabolic. I, I just don't see that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's been this episode. Overall, I wouldn't use Sanka unless I get lots of Sanka cards. But yeah, that's been all for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.